everyone. I'm Hugo. I'm Jake. Uh, this is somewhat different of a video. If you follow me on Twitter, you know what this video is going to be about. Maybe the title says, I don't know, whatever. Um, but I'm going to talk about something a little personal today. So this will be fun and not uncomfortable at all for me. I think it'll be informative and important and good. And I am here for support. And that's it. Okay, thank you. So, what's been going on? Um, as I said on Twitter, I mentioned this the other day, but a lot of people have been commenting on my looks uh, in regard to both my weight and uh, liking me better with short hair and the beard. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that because, as I mentioned on Twitter, and if you don't know this, this might come as somewhat of a surprise, um, I am currently transitioning to a woman. So, that's a thing that's been going on for a while. I've been on hormones for like, how many months has it been? It's been a long, it's been a long time. So, Five, six months at this point? Well, I don't remember the exact date that you came out to us, yeah. but I do remember that on Christmas we gave you gifts yeah, okay, that so were related to this, so okay, it's so over nice. nine months. I think we're working on a year. I think we're working on a year. So we've been keeping this, well, as I mentioned on Twitter, we've been keeping this in-house. It's a personal thing. It wasn't for everybody else. It's never been. But there is a certain point when, yeah, I mean, there's going to be... If you want it to be, there's going to be physical changes, and you wanted it to be. And so we are kind of at that point. Um, although I'm pretty annoyed that, um, and frankly, I mean, I kind of get it at some point because we're funny and like there's jokes and we're we're, we're fair game, and that's fine. I get it. It's um, a parasocial relationship thing is, too. I understand that. Yeah. But I just want to say. Uh, if you don't necessarily know what someone's going through, maybe don't, like, bring up their appearance a ton, because it's not a particularly nice thing to do, uh, and it's been getting to me. So I figured now is as good a time as any to come out and say what's been going on, and why my appearance has been changing, and why it's going to continue to change in the future. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's basically that. I, um... I mean, I, I, I'm sure a lot of people have questions, uh, about it, uh... You know, I, I, I don't talk, even to you, I don't talk about this a lot, just yeah, because it's a, it's a very personal thing. I don't feel like talking to a lot of people about, usually, I'd like to change that, because part of, I think on this channel a lot of the time, I come off as very, like, uh, and this is in the character that I'm essentially playing. I mean, I'm me, but, you know, we're, we're doing this for a show, so it's sure. played up. Uh, wanting to be very personal and to myself and, like, not deal with people. And a lot of that ties into this because... A lot of that's real life. But yeah. yeah, but I, I mean, I it's come off like that and I'm like that in real life partially because of uh, the lack of comfortability with being honest about who I am and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying to be better about it. I mean, this has been a process, I mean, since we've known each other, you've been slowly chipping away at this sort of, like, I mean, I guess you found the, the big answer at some point. Um, I don't know, I don't know when you, when you're like, well, that's the answer. Um, but I, I guess that's a good first question. Like, when is, because I'm assuming people are going to have a bunch of these questions and it's just good to just, like, knock as many pins over as we can. So, when was the moment, because... I know that there was a, a brief point before you came out to us that you were going through some shit, and we had talked a couple times, and you're like, you know, I'm just, you know, and you're going to therapy. I mean, you did that anyway, but... It's something that I, I've known on some level since I was very, very young. That's usually what people say. So. Um, like, I know I've told the stories before on the channel a um, long time ago. Or like in kindergarten, remember, I'd put on the tutu in the dress-up area. Yeah. It would make people laugh. And I agree, that makes people laugh, and it was fun. But, like, I did it for a reason. Like um, it felt it felt good. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, and as I got older, uh, I'd, I'd put on makeup sometimes and stuff, like, without my parents knowing, obviously. Or, like, at a cousin's house who I knew... Uh, put makeup on me a couple times. Um, I don't know if she remembers that at all. But um, anyway, so I, my dad, who by the way might be watching this because he watches like the videos, likes to hate watch. Yeah, 
Um, I just want to make something clear in case he is. I don't want you to contact me after you find this out at all. Please don't. In fact, I, I don't care about your support or lack thereof. I know how you talk about trans people. You're not a good person, and if you feel the need to change your position because you happen to know someone who is trans, then you're probably kind of a piece of shit who is unwilling to have empathy for people outside of your own, like, social group. It'd be nice if you reached that empathy on your own. Either way, I don't want to hear from that dude. So, if you are that dude, audience of one who I'm talking to in this moment, don't contact me. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. Um, he said some very hurtful things about trans people in the past. Yeah. Anyway... So, I, 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 he's not big, he's a huge social and economic conservative. Yeah. He's, I guess, okay with gay people, like his brother's gay, but he wasn't, like, pro-gay marriage or anything. He very much doesn't like... There's a very large difference between being okay with a gay person and supporting gay people or LGBT people. Um, so for a lot of my life, I had to, like, bottle this shit up, yeah. and even so, I've never been the most masculine person in the world, for obvious reasons, but, like, never liked sports, which doesn't necessarily make you trans, of course, but it, it, it no, it's I part mean, of it. In the Midwest, specifically, in the area we live, very rural, there is, and this changes based on where you live, but there are certain expectations that go along with what we consider masculinity, which is part of the reason it's obviously a social construct. Um... And I mean, we've been advocating for this since long before I knew you were trans, and yeah. you probably had inclinations, but, um, like, I don't know, like, it doesn't seem to... <laughs> it, it, you haven't really made any personality changes, in my opinion, other than trying to be more open. Yeah. Um, and as I grew up, especially when puberty hit, that's when things started to get really bad. Um, so... Uh, as those changes started happening, and I, I, I started, like, growing hair, like, on my body and arms and stuff, and I'd, I'd actually try and shave it off when I was, like, 10, 11, 12, however old I was when that sure. started happening, because I hated it so much. Um, which I don't know if you've ever been 10, 11, 12 years old and tried to shave yourself. It does not go well. Uh, anyway. Did you, did you dry shave it? Oh, yeah. With, in my grandparents' house, with some old razor that was probably from, like, 1970. Like like no, no, but it was, it was like, a terrible oh. disposable oh, okay. razor from, like, the 90s at the, at the latest, probably. Um, that had probably been sitting in the closet for years. Anyway, that's not the point of this. That's all very personal stuff. I think but... it's interesting, though. I think it's, it's, it's also, like, kind of part of your catharsis, I think, is kind of, like... But after puberty, I started feeling really bad about myself most of the time. I've always struggled with, like, anxiety and depression, and I think it, it ties into this. Um, but I kind of learned to, like, force all this stuff down, especially being in the house I was in and knowing that my dad does not approve of, like, d d divergent behavior from the norm. Um, and honestly, I mean, your mom has come around, it seems, but I don't know if during that time she would have been as receptive. She right? says she would now, but I don't, I don't think she that. would have, uh, no. I don't get the, and I, we don't know each other very well, as far as you mean your mom, but, like, I mean, we've known her for a while, and yeah, I don't get the, I don't get the feeling that she would have been super, like, into it. Anyway, so that happened, and I really, really repressed this, and, like, did not want to think about it, and literally to the point where I, I, I mean, I'd have... I don't even know how to explain the amount of cognitive dissonance that I would have about this. The level that I'd, like, have fantasies about, like, changing into a woman somehow. But, like, somehow that was completely sequestered from the rest of my brain. Because I'd have that thought, and then I wouldn't, like, reflect... I'm a person who reflects you on do. thoughts Very a lot. Well. I overthink things. But I'd have that thought, and it that was so... It was so, like potentially damaging in, to me and in my situation that I would, like, not and then go about and not even think about the fact that I was having those thoughts. Would you say that, maybe I'm skipping ahead here, but would you say that therapy was, like, the sort of, like, first chink in that, or...? Therapy has definitely helped. Um, I think the overall media, not uh, saturation is the wrong word because it's certainly not saturated, but the media representation of trans people... 
um, and stuff has helped to a certain extent because it normalizes it and it allowed me to come to a place where I'm a little more comfortable talking about it. Here on YouTube, we have a lot of peers that uh, I agree, like Contra, I assume. Sure. Contra points, big help because a lot of a lot of the feelings she had, for instance, when she's talked about um her herself and her past. She transitioned here. Sure. YouTube, basically. Um, a lot of that reflected back to me what I had been feeling, and it contextualized a lot of those feelings. So that helped. But literally, I'm I'm talking like this is how cognitively cognitively dissonant I was. I'd think things like. I don't want to be trans. I just want to be a woman. And and you didn't think, like, cross-dress or, like, literally, physically, I want to be a woman, but not trans. Yeah, because for some reason in my brain, I didn't, I didn't recognize, like, oh, that's what that word means. Um, so, it's been difficult, uh, but... I think this is important for you to talk about, not just for you, but we have a, a large trans community... Um, and maybe people that, that are confused that might not understand, like, it may have, maybe have the same exact thought. And, like, I would think things like, I assumed, I assumed it was normal, as a man, to hate being a man. Um, <laughs> which, sure, not the case. Yeah. No, it's not, but yeah, I know, it makes sense, well, okay, so based on the household <laughs> you were in, I mean, you were negative, really, negatively reinforced as it pertains to your manhood, pretty often so i it makes sense that that would normalize yeah so that's sort of how that came about and just over time i slowly was like "Ooh, this is that yeah. okay and then i finally kind of came to the decision like i'm either gonna do this and make a change or i'm gonna wind up in a very bad place that i cannot come back from because I thought about killing myself i mean i the demonetized whatever whatever but like <laughs> I wasn't planning on running mid-rolls. Sure. But I'm just saying, like, that's the reality of it. Yeah. It really came down to, like, I can either make this positive step because I cannot foresee living the rest of my life as a man. I just can't yeah. do it. I can't. I've pretended for way too long, and I'm sick of doing it. So that's why I started making this change. Um, over time, I wound up talking to my therapist, and um, they got me uh, hooked up with a hospital that I'm doing the hormone therapy through. Not everyone, of course, who is trans does hormones, but I feel that it's helpful for um, what I'm going through. Um, it was a little bit of a pain in the ass. Sure. Uh, and it still is. I have to drive to a hospital like two hour, two and a half hours away from where I live. Isn't private insurance dope? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So that's what's been going on. Is there other? Uh, let let me. Sure of... So the first question is: Do you want people to use uh, proper pronouns now, or because I, here's okay? I'm gonna caveat this because I know how you feel about this. You think I need to pass to earn the thing, and I disagree. But it is your decision. So I, I, it's there. It is. I guess. I think it would be great if you use the proper pronouns of like she. But I also understand not everyone's going to watch this video or see that tweet. So if you happen to see someone, like, talking about me and they use, like, a he pronoun, it's okay to just assume that they're probably just not in the loop. Yeah. But, yeah, it'd be great if you'd use the proper pronouns. Uh, it does make me feel good. There we go. We have been, we have been, in turn, our friends group has been, like, like, well, we want to, but we also, it's not our decision to out you. It's not our decision to... It feels like misgendering both ways at a certain point during the mid-transition, so it was always a, a you thing. So, yeah, um, you'll hear me using she, her pronouns in perpetuity. Um, Sarah already has been. Um, uh, I, Alex and Randy, all of our close friends, um, and anybody else. I know there's a couple people out there that are... Uh, that I'm not going to mention in the video because they're not online either, but um, that are close with you and that have known about this. And so, um, yeah, I think I think that's great. I hope everybody does. I, we've gotten overwhelming support on Twitter. I can't imagine. We've fostered a pretty damn good community. So, um, obviously, if there is going to be pieces of shit in the comments or whatever, um, you can have the debate about it it's not much of a debate but i mean like if you if you guys want to argue about it but if there's direct abuse um i can tell you for in, for sure our mods are are not going to let that fly for super long so you know we don't usually delete comments but that's that's a level that of a it's actual abuse so it's like 
it's not just like uh, taking the piss or like making fun of us. It's not now that's punching down, right? And so we don't we're not going to put up with that. So. Sure. Um, let's see, what else? Is there any other question? Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. Um, people are definitely going to ask, like, can we still call you Hugo? For the time being, sure, because I, there's not really another option. I'm like 90% sure on the name I'm going to go with, but I don't want to say until I'm like 100%. So. Sure. Um, so Hugo and Jake for now, totally fine. Hugo isn't necessarily gendered anyway. It's so, it's so, it's so like out there but uh, and it's your nickname it's yeah. not even your name name so it doesn't feel like dead naming to me i don't know if it does for you uh, okay all right so um yeah and so that seems fine um Hugo, uh has been you said that once and yeah. someone brought that up yeah. was that a was that a was that a was that a was that called a dog whistle i don't think so <laughs> i don't think so either um hmm i mean there's definitely frequently asked questions what were people asking besides that? Um, oh, there was a big one. Um, people have been asking me um, if they want to... We don't have anything set up, but they were asking if you wanted to start a transition fund. Maybe it would help. I don't Obviously know. It would help, I don't know how I feel about it. But... Yeah, uh, I'm sure a lot of people want to. Yeah. And so how about we... Um, we'll reconvene on that notion and... Yeah. Uh, both of us, I'm sure you mostly appreciate the sentiment, um, and uh, I think you'd probably need a number that I don't know. I, I don't know what the average is. I don't know what it is around here. So, um, and you're a few steps away from most of that, I think. So, um, uh, oh well, I guess tell the story of like um, hormones and kind of the 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 timeline on this whole thing and like. Um, I don't know, kind of where where you're at in the process and everything like that. Okay. Um, well, I talked to my therapist about it for, like, quite a while, like, months and months. Um, just making sure that, like, I knew this was what I wanted to do and all that stuff. Um, and then over, I had to deal with a bunch of insurance stuff that was a huge pain in the ass trying to find a doctor that... I remember those conversations. Yeah, that uh, took my insurance and also was, like, relatively close enough. Um, I know there was one closer to where I am, but they don't take my insurance, which is super unfortunate. Um, so I end up driving to Detroit, like, every two, three months for the checkup for that and for the blood tests and everything. So I went there, and after I got letter from the therapist, and they did some health checks and stuff on that, they started me on the hormones. My particular doctor started me on uh, the estrogen, but not the um, anti-androgens yet, because according to her, based on like what she's seen in her patients, uh, this is just an interesting little tidbit. Uh, apparently, she says it can form. You can if you start them both at the same time. She's seen it form more conical breasts, but like Madonna boobies. Yeah, a little bit. Well, how conical do you want, though? Like, I feel like there is a certain level of... of I don't know, but they still haven't... St I've been on them for, like, six months, but they still haven't started me on the anti-androgens, and frankly, I'll just be honest, I'm super anxious to get on those, because uh, I think it would speed up the, the process. Explain the, um, the... Well, because I, obviously, I think estrogen is... Sure. Estrogen is estrogen. It's the, like, female feminizing hormone or whatever. Uh, anti-androgens um, are testosterone blockers, and they stop from, you know, producing testosterone. So, like, for instance, it'll thin out body hair a little bit. Even just on the estrogen, I've noticed my body hair's thinned out a little bit. Have you noticed a skin change? That's what I hear. A little bit. Um, I have, I have pretty dry skin in general, but I noticed when I started taking the estrogen, the skin was a little less dry. I don't know if that's, like, a placebo effect that I'm just, like, noticing. It I feel like I've noticed a difference in your skin tone, but I could be crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Um... But yeah, I've been on those. I'm going back to the doctor in about a month, maybe a few weeks. I don't remember exactly, but uh, yeah. And then hopefully they'll start me on the anti-androgens, which would be great. And usually, roughly, they say this takes about two years for the full rough effect of the hormone. So this is going to be a process. Yeah, I. this is going to be super fucking awkward. I'm in a really awkward growing my hair period where I just kind of look at weird androgynous, but I'm also overweight, which, by the way, like I said at the beginning of this, a lot of people were saying in the comments, like, you're really fat. Like, I know. I look in the mirror. It's cool. I'm working on it. Maybe don't be, like, yeah, pointing it out all the time. Yeah. Um, also, I think estrogen doesn't help. 
Yeah. Uh, because you're putting on weight in certain areas where. Sure, I still need to just stop putting so much food in my mouth. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, there is an aspect of that for sure, but I'm just saying, like, it would exacerbate the problem because, especially since, I mean, you are going going to grow secondary sexual characteristics, and that will look at at a certain point when you assume someone is a man, it will look like breast specifically will look like oh whoa, um, and so if you don't know, I actually I accidentally did a oh whoa. <sighs> Okay, so, um, hmm, um, I guess, uh, are you going to want to present more feminine? Like, are you going to want to wear makeup? Uh, are you going to want to, just like, and how soon are you planning on trying to do that since you're out now instead of... That's a good question. Because I know it makes you more comfortable and you've worn makeup in my house a few times and... That's a good question. Uh, I'm not good at it, so we will see based Sarah on... Sarah has been helping, um... Uh, are you, uh, there was a haircut appointment being talked about. So yeah, I need another to salon. get it evened out or something or get it styled or something. I don't know. It's pretty fucking crazy right now. My hair gets super frizzy and, like, poofy and... Yeah, and you took a walk earlier, so, yeah. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess, are there any more, I mean... For you, this is like a thing you... I don't know. If you ask me stuff in this, I'll, I'll tackle them on the ne next Ask Hugo or whatever. That's a good que That's a good idea. And um, I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. I mean, if you ask me general trans stuff, like, I'll do my best to answer, but I do not claim to be, like, an expert on this whatsoever. I am not. Ask Hugo specific questions. <laughs> if you can. Um, obviously, um, there's some people who aren't informed about this topic, uh, and that's fine. Um... I would suggest um, ContraPoints is a good starting point. Um, I've done debates in the past that I think would be beneficial for you to watch uh, over on my Twitch channel. There's VODs um, over there. Um, uh, I've uploaded a few things to this channel, in specific the Fuck Undoomed video, which I stand by. Um, there's, I mean, there's plenty of great creators out there. Uh, follow people like H Bomber Guy, Philosophy Tube. Um, I mean, uh, who else? I mean, there's so many people. So, um, I would, I would, if you claim to be skeptical and you've been enjoying this for a long time, and in your knee-jerk reaction is like, bah, gender, bah, um, I, I genuinely wish that you would like get informed because to me, this is as simple as like the God question. You're just wrong about it if you disagree. Like you're just, I mean, you just are. And so, if you, if we were able, if we were and Hugo and I were at all a part of your your um, quest uh, through uh, religion and stuff. Um, most people have been cool. Benefit of the doubt. You can uh, you can you can be assured. Uh, this has been this has been like science for years uh, since the DSM three actually. Uh, this has been a diagnosed, uh, specifically dysphoria, um, been diagnosed, and the treatment is transition. So. Um, that's me. That's me being a mama bear, real quick. Um, sure. Uh, besides that, I will fight each and every one of you if I need to, uh, with my fists. Um, also, uh, for some housekeeping, um, oh, yeah. you're gonna take a little bit of a break, like two weeks or so. You can take more um, okay. in the meet if you want to. Uh, you don't have to, but I, you know, um, there's going to be a little bit of a break. It'll be. I don't know if you're gonna stay off social media too. I'll whatever. at least be on Twitter, probably. Yeah, it'll be reachable. Um, I think probably that'd be a good a good period of time. Like even if you took two weeks off, came back just for the just the ask you go, and then took some more time off if you needed it. I don't know. We don't know. Um, that's fine. Um, and then uh, I will be doing some content on here, so like don't worry about that. Um, Obviously, at this point, your patronage would very much help towards uh, uh, helping Hugo along this process. So, if, if help me cut my penis off, please. <laughs> help Hugo cut her penis off. Yes, that is basically <laughs> that is basically the fund at this point. Um, but also, new clothes, new yeah. style, um, uh, kind of just um, you know, being an open transit. I I'm very proud of you. Um, so I think, I, I mean, I said this to you a year ago, and we hugged for the third time. <laughs> that was our third ever hug. Um, 
And yeah, I don't know. I think it'd be. I think uh, it's wonderful. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't want to get too sappy, but it's it's a good thing. And uh, yeah. I I look forward to all of your support. If you don't support it, if you just like can't deal with it, I'm fine if you just leave. That's I'm I'm absolutely fine with that. It's whatever. Yeah. Thank you, by the way, to everyone who after I tweeted about this was like super supportive. I didn't see it's amazing. Negative. I read I read every single one of your message your like tweets at me, by the way, even if I didn't like get to everyone. I tried to like most of them so you at least knew I did see it. So I did thank rest you. As well to try to, you know, double on the support of the yeah. support. I didn't see any negative you may have because you got the I saw one that was questionable. It might have just been an ill timed joke, but it was I, whatever. Oh, 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 I have, I to, address have to address something. something. We've, been We've been shipped, shipped for years. years. This, this is no, not, this is the shipping is not happening. We are we are very good friends. Yeah. I love Hugo dearly. That's where it ends. Uh, you can find better dick than this. <laughs> I'd like that crocheted on a pillow, please. You can just me point at myself. You can find better dick than this. Um, uh, or Vagu. Still by by visibility yeah. day the other like literally the day you came out on Twitter. So. Oh. Uh, Take that, other buys. <laughs> Stole the thunder. The 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 pastel colored thunder was stolen. Um, God, is there anything else? I I I could just I don't know. I could sit here forever and defend you. So you have to stop me. So all right. Well, that's the end of this then. <laughs> Thank you everyone for your kind words of support. Uh, that's uh, yeah. No, that's good. So um, I guess that's it. You can always follow us on Twitter. <laughs> At Pop Bird Jake at Hugo Reloaded. That'll probably change it. Can you change your at? Okay, that'll probably change at some point. As long as it's available, you can yeah. change it. Uh, I think I think they limit it so you can't spam change it, but I think you can you can definitely okay. change it at this point. You can uh, support the show uh, and uh, both of us by uh, subscribing or going to patreon.com slash Hugo and Jake. Um, support would be great. We get demonetized constantly, although uh, they just remonetized several of our videos nice. uh, today, so I got a lot of uh, so that's good. It's been a little bit um, of a of a fuck you to put work into it and get demonetized for talking about Ben Shapiro or something. So also on a happy note, Jordan Peterson is in rehab. <laughs> So, okay, that's a mixed bag. His wife is going through we? cancer treatment, but also he's a bag of shit that said that you deserve rape when you get it. So, I mean, like, how do I feel about this? Ah! When I come back, we should do a video just revisiting Jordan Peterson and seeing how he's doing. Even though he shit on his friend for smoking weed or whatever, he's in the fucking Benzos. rehab for... <laughs> Benzos! I guess the all-meat diet didn't work out for you, huh? Well, no, that, that usually cures, cures depression, I hear. From Michaela, Michaela Peterson. Peterson. She told me that. Anyway. So that's it. Uh, for now, I'm Hugo. I'm Jake in perpetuity. Uh, still a boring, cishet, straight, white guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're such a disappointment. I know. To this internet family. I know. Go suck a dick, goddammit. it! I don't think I, my heart would be in Just it. Just pretend it's a like a like a real a real big clitoris. I was gonna oh. say like because that's what would get me going. I was gonna say like a rocket pop. I wasn't thinking food. I don't want to yeah. chew on a dick. No, you you lick a popsicle. You don't bite it. What are you, a no, fucking a animal? Pop. The rocket pop. I always bite the tip off. So you're a goddamn animal. <laughs> All right, fuck off. Uh, go, go, do other stuff on the internet. I don't respect your popsicle biting lifestyle. I think the show's <laughs> over. YouTube wants you to click through on some other video. Don't let them. Go to Twitch first. Watch someone else. Then go back to YouTube. So their click through rates are stupid. They fuck up videos. End of video. <laughs>